things like sugar. Again, a Maxwell house, an old Cremora, right? These were food safe containers. Lots of vinegars you should have on hand. You do need them for canning. They're ideal for so many things. And you can always get a five gallon bucket, right? Doesn't even have to be food grade. These happen to have gamma lids on them, which are only $10. And what I do is use a very large Mylar bag to put things in there. Keep my canners down here, my water bath, and my Presto. Simple stuff. I'm a simple chick. Oils. Get them when they're on sale. Barbecue sauce. These are things you should not run out of. You really shouldn't. Because you'll buy them slowly, and you'll buy them slowly when they're on sale a small chest freezer that's in my laundry room. Again, it ain't a show place, okay? It's my house, right? So anyway, I keep a legend on the top, and I generally use boxes. That's a priority mailbox to stack things. I've got all of my frozen tomatoes we grew down in here so that when we get to canning, we can. Our own green beans we grew. We keep everything. Gotta have a nutty buddy because sometimes it's nutty buddy time. There's my red fish, and if you don't have a food saver, get one. If you do not puncture that bag, that is good for an indefinite amount of time. More red fish and sausage. People got to have breakfast, you know. Something I hear a lot is, oh, I don't have any room to put things. That is my dehydrator. It sits out. You know why? Because I use it. I turned it off for you. I have stale bread in there to make bread crumbs. Right? Right with exercise, an extra Fred the fan, a billiard table. Stuff just is what it is. You mean to tell me you couldn't slide that under a bed in your house if you didn't have a lot of room? Come on now, come on now. Also had ample toilet paper, okay? This was full as well as one in my closet. I did not have to go out in the great toilet paper stampede because I was ready. Now my husband slowly, when he goes to the grocery, replaces it and we'll have full shelves again. Our local Costco still cannot hold a couple pallets of toilet paper for more than two hours. Something that is often overlooked, when you got your family of five home for those two weeks and you're all washing your hands, and I mean really washing them, I keep a lot of dish towels. I mean a lot. Because when my husband would come back from the store, I would wipe all the groceries down he would wash his hands. I would wash my hands. I do not need to be picking up all through the day my daily hand towel that hangs in front of my dishwasher. So I was able to each time, I probably changed them three times a day. But if you don't have enough backups, right, to keep going through your washer, then you got a problem. Mine ain't matchy matchy. This ain't a show home. It's my home where I live. So you can pick them up at your local grocery store, your Publix, your Piggly Wiggly, your Food Lion. Don't go for matchy matchy. We are trying to keep our hands safe and to have disinfection in our home. So don't be picking up using one dish towel all day with everyone washing their hands. It becomes moist and it harbors bacteria. Throw it in the washing machine till you have a full load. There you go, stuff you need in the house. And ain't nothing wrong with some paper products. I'm all right with that. So think of the things you were without when you had to do the quarantine or you couldn't leave your house unless you had a job that you need to always have on hand that even now with higher prices, you can still look for when they are less expensive and start to store them, right? The first thing I did was make us masks on my little bitty old brother sewing machine, which is a drunk sewing machine. That thing has 900 issues. It needs a tune-up, but you don't think anybody's tuning them up. So these were my first ones, right? Then when times got better, and they said here, you can't leave your house unless you have a job. Who got a job? This girl got a job. That's right, retired since 55 and got a job. And I delivered pizza, right? To people's doors, vacationers who came here who didn't want to go out. So, because things got better to buy, I got myself an Amerishield or Eye Shield. 
This thing is fantastic. Right? Hey, 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 dinner's ready. Made some mad tips for cash. Then, oops, I pulled my own hair. I got this one. Slides over my glasses. Not as effective as this that has side coverage. But I never delivered pizza without wearing a visor, right? So that if I walk through somebody's cough and I do wear glasses, I had some protection there. These got very old wearing, right? There's a question for you. Do you have spare fabric? It don't match. It's a mask. It ain't a fashion show. So my husband could go to the grocery. I had to make him bigger ones because he got a big old face because the man has a big brain and a big head, right? So I made bigger ones for him. These are much more comfortable to breathe in and they don't fog up. Then when I'd come home, I would wash this hat in my sink and then I disinfect my visor part, right? So there are things that you can do, but you can't make masks if you don't have some fabric on hand. And you can sew them by hand or if you don't sew, you stitch witchery, which you can use your iron to put it together. So think of the things you did not have in this pandemic that changed your whole quality of life. And you need to be able to, when you bring in flour, cornmeal, I freeze those in my chest freezer or my smaller freezers. I freeze them for seven days so that I can kill the little larva, I don't get weevils and those other things. Then I take them out, I set them in the package, it's a paper package, on my island for 24 hours, and when they're cooled, I dump them into an old Cremora or Maxwell House can. What is in there is not gonna have an eruption of live bugs. Bugs are everywhere we eat them, it is what it is. Don't freeze your sugar, don't do that, right? Because you will have a brick. All you got then is weapons and projectiles, pew pews, are much better than that. Uh, my aim ain't that good and the thing weighs five pounds. What did you run out of? What were you unprepared? Can you make bread? There's millions of videos on how to do it. So that when your whole family was home, your three kids and your husband, and you couldn't find bread in the grocery, or if you could, you couldn't afford it, then I need to start learning how. It's just flour. Even flour hasn't gone up that much. What were you without, right? And what do you need to have on hand to be prepared if something like this ever happens again? I live in a hurricane zone on the coast of South Carolina. Now, if I had a hurricane like Laura coming through, I'm just driving out of here. And believe me, there's gonna be a lot of my cases of food canned. When I evacuated from Matthew and stayed with friends, I brought spaghetti right? I brought my meals in a jar. I brought a lot of pasta so that I could cook while I was there. They come home for work. I had dinner ready for, them, right? And I could make biscuits and rolls and fresh bread with the things that I brought from my home. I'm not staying in no cat four, bro. I'm built to Florida standards, but once your roof is peeled back, you're in trouble. It is much easier in Irma. I did not evacuate. We've got our solar battery backup. You could have a small generator, uh, just a small one that could keep your one freezer running. So if you don't want to do that, you do not have to have a garden. You can visit your local farmer's market and support your community and buy their food. Get you a $60 Nesco and be able to dehydrate it. Get you a $100 or you can get them on sale. You can find them on Marketplace. You can find them on Craigslist of food savers. The food saver system that I use to keep all my meats in. Get rid of your excuses. What were you without and unprepared for and fix it? Because you can. You're responsible for providing for your children as the adult and start making a plan. Quit going into Starbucks every day of the week before you go to work. Quit swinging into Burger King to pick up dinner. Learn to cook. It ain't rocket science. We've got to get back to homemaking to provide. You don't have any choice because this is not over. This could happen again. I never thought we'd be locked down and then think, okay, we'll do that for two weeks. And then it went on endlessly and it didn't happen across the country, right? And people couldn't find hand sanitizer. 
You don't have alcohol on hand or peroxide. You can't make your own. Start researching how to make those things. Have a working home, right? We've got to get back to the basics. So, it is September and it is preparedness month. Get your fanny ready, right? Don't have this repeat itself and be caught unawares, right? Get you a little plastic shield, put your little visor on, and get to getting. And I rock this thing, I'm telling you. Whoa, so cute, right? This one, the AmeriShield, is a much better product than this. This is quite flimsy, right? But it's very nice to wear something lighter. But you don't find me out there with this on without a visor so that nothing's falling down on my face. And hashtag wash your hands. And you should have a whole lot of soap in your hand, house. Your hand soap doesn't have to be antibacterial. I am tired of hand sanitizer, dries your hands. I yearn to have soft hands again, but I'd like to remain COVID free. That's important. So, as you saw, I had a video on, look, it's a milk jug. Fancy, ain't it? This is two thirds cup of bleach in a gallon of water. And as I brought my groceries in from the COVID store, the Cootieville, right? It wasn't fun, but I used a rag and I wiped them all down. And that went for a bag of pasta, right? To anything that was brought in, the packaging on the toilet paper, anything. So that I could disinfect that and do the best I could. And don't forget about your shoes. We're a non-shoe house. We have house shoes. I have all my flippy floppies right, that I only wear in the house. I have other flippy floppies that I wear downstairs, right? So I got yard shoes, and they learn in the hospitals they're wearing the same booties and they're dragging it around with them. And also remember that that lockdown, a lot of people had it in their house. So it's not good. Figure out what you were missing and correct it. It ain't hard. Get back to the basics of a working home. All right, everybody stay safe. And let's hope America gets back to work. That's my hope. But when they tell a retired woman you can't leave your house unless you get a job, I get a job. And I was so thrilled when I was able to get this because I felt safer and it was much more comfortable than my cloth masks, which are quite ineffective, but you had to have them to go in somewhere. I do have a couple arguments with very large people in the grocery when I wear this and they yell, put on your mask. To which I say things like, if your eyes were as effective and as large as your behind, you would notice that this is a mask, okay? And I am ready to fight about it because I don't know about y'all, but I got the glow butt, which is a nice way of saying the red, right? So don't come for me in my mask because I'll come for you back and it's on and popping because I can get loud and crunk. Stay safe. Get back to the basics of housekeeping. You can do it. I can do it. I'm just a mouse. September, National Preparedness Month. Woohoo!